Pop Smoke, born Bashar Baraka Jackson, was a rising rapper from Brooklyn, New York, known for his deep voice and influence on the drill music scene. On February 19, 2020, he was tragically shot and killed during a home invasion at a rental house in the Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles. Four teenagers, including a 15-year-old, 17-year-old, 18-year-old, and 19-year-old Corey Walker, were arrested and charged with his murder. The youngest of the suspects was identified as the shooter. The killers allegedly targeted Pop Smoke after seeing his social media posts, which revealed the address of his rental home and images of luxury items, including cash and designer goods. Their motive was believed to be robbery, as they intended to steal his expensive jewelry. The trial process began after the arrests. Corey Walker, the only adult among the group, faced the possibility of the death penalty. In 2022, Walker's attorney argued that he never entered the house, nor did he intend for Pop Smoke to be killed, but the court upheld charges of murder. The two minors, who were not publicly named due to their ages, were also charged with murder and robbery. The legal proceedings are ongoing for the juvenile suspects. Walker, in particular, faced the harshest charges, but all suspects were held accountable for their involvement in Pop Smoke's tragic death. Pop Smoke's legacy extends far beyond his brief but impactful career in music. As a pioneer of Brooklyn Drill, he brought international attention to the genre, merging UK-style production with a gritty New York sound. His deep voice, catchy hooks, and raw authenticity earned him a dedicated fan base and the admiration of peers. Songs like Dior and Welcome to the Party became anthems, elevating him to one of hip-hop's brightest new stars before his untimely death. In his community, Pop Smoke was seen as a symbol of hope and ambition. He often spoke about his desire to uplift those around him, using his platform to inspire others to rise above adversity. His death not only shocked the music world, but also left a deep void in the Brooklyn neighborhoods he aimed to uplift. Many saw him as a beacon for a new generation of artists, and his murder highlighted ongoing issues of violence that plague marginalized communities. His posthumous releases, like Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon, have continued to solidify his impact, but his absence is deeply felt as a rising star lost too soon.